Hello there. The past few days have brought snow for some and rain for all. Now, the snow did cause some disruption, albeit briefly. The rain arrived and helped to wash some of it away. But because the rain was heavy and quite persistent in places, we've also seen some localised flooding. Fortunately, the start of the weekend was a little bit quieter with some blue sky and sunshine. And it's likely that we'll continue along that pattern for the second half of the weekend. Rain easing away from the far northeast, this little ridge of high pressure building. If we track the isobars back to the northwest, those isobars will be responsible for driving in a few scattered showers along west facing coast and some of these will push a little bit further inland but on the whole not a bad day dry with sunny spells and a few isolated showers and a little bit milder particularly in scotland than we've seen of late 7 to 11 degrees now there is certainly going to be more rain in the forecast though as we look through the week ahead starting off with the heaviest of the rain to the east of the pennines but as we go through the week we'll see as much as 50 millimeters perhaps across west facing coast as well so more wet weather to come if we take a look at uh, Sunday into Monday in a little more detail, this week weather front is really just going to introduce more in the way of cloud to begin with. So we will be chasing cloud amounts around on Monday, closest to an area of low pressure into the northwest, driving in a few scattered showers in Northern Ireland, northwest Scotland, snow to higher ground. But it will be to the tops of the mountains, rain at lower levels. We're looking at around six or seven degrees in Scotland, highest values elsewhere, eight to ten Celsius. Moving out of Monday into Tuesday, not a bad start. This little ridge of high pressure keeps things quiet, but we'll need to keep a, a check on the timing of this weather front. At the moment, it's likely to bring some rain into southwest England and south Wales as we go through the day. By the end of the afternoon, pushing along Channel Coast up into the Midlands and turning increasingly windy with it. Ahead of it, drier, brighter and still pleasantly mild, 7 to 11 degrees. Now, as we move out of Tuesday into Wednesday, it is going to get warmer still. This weather front continues to be the dividing line between the cooler air in Scotland, a little less cold than it has been nevertheless, but this incredibly mild air to the south. And with that southwesterly flow, we could see temperatures peaking into the mid-teens by the middle part of the week. A lot of cloud to go with that on Wednesday and bits and pieces of rain. Some poor visibility on exposed west coast as well with that southwesterly flow, misty and murky. 7 to 14 degrees though, 14 degrees way above where we should be at this time of year. Moving out of Wednesday into Thursday, turning increasingly windier and wetter. We could see more prolonged spells of rain on Thursday as we see this weather front pushing in from the west. So we'll keep you updated on the development of that. 8 to 14 degrees the high. Looking further ahead, the computer models are really disagreeing with the weather story. Some computer models want to keep the low pressure in control, but there is the potential towards next weekend of this little area of high pressure building and quietening things down just a touch. So if you're fed up with the prospect of the uh, rain for much of the week ahead, just bear in mind as we head towards next week, fingers crossed, Computer models want to keep it just a little bit drier with more sunshine, but not as mild as it has been. Take care.